Here are some sections of the text in DNA that you can investigate further. I'm going to offer you some questions in order for you to dig deeper into the text. See what clues Dennis Kelly is offering on how to play these characters and to play this story to its maximum potential. Cast list and setting info. Firstly, let's take a look at the cast list at the front of the playtext. Why has Dennis Kelly paired off or not paired off some of the characters? Also, have a look at the setting information. Why do you think he's giving us incredibly minimal information about when and where this play is set? What work do you need to do as an actor to realise the world of this play? Part 1, Scene 1. The first section of text to look at is Part 1, Scene 1. How does Dennis Kelly create tension and stakes as a writer in this scene? What does he do with dialogue? How do the characters speak? By using so few stage directions, what does this give importance to? Brian's first line. Take a look at Brian's first line towards the end of part one, scene three. What does this line say about Brian? How can one line give us so much information about a character? And what is this information? Adam's name. The characters in the play mention Adam by name. However, Dennis Kelly calls him something different in the cast list. Why do you think this is? Why not just call him Adam because that's his actual name? What does this do to the status and the importance of the character? Phil's first line. Look at Phil's first line at the end of part one, scene three. Then take a look at the rest of the lines he has here where he's giving instructions to all the other members of the group. What does this say about Phil? What's Dennis Kelly showing us about Phil, a crucial character at the end of the third scene of the play? Why hasn't Phil spoken before now? What's key about him speaking now to show his importance, power and status in the group? Bonobos and Chimps. Have a look at Leah's monologue in part one, scene four. What's the importance and relevance of Leah talking about bonobos and chimps? Is there a metaphor here? Four act structure. Have a look at the structure of the four acts of the play. What similarities are there? And what are the differences? Why do you think Dennis Kelly has done this? And what's the importance of when things change? Adam's monologue. Look at Adam's monologue in part three, scene three. Examine closely Dennis Kelly's writing here, especially his use of line breaks and new paragraphs. Why do you think he's done this? And more importantly, what do you think he's offering the actor playing Adam by laying the text out like this? What's happening to Adam in each new paragraph? Is it a breath, a thought, a mind blank? or a stutter. So there are some interesting things in the text. Good luck being a text detective. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Do check out these other videos and subscribe. And if you want to support what I do and the channel, you can click on the link in the video description. All the best.